This is the Fjallraven Konkin Mini, and this is my honest review. Hey, this is Honest Reviews, and today we are looking at the very popular Fjallraven Konkin Mini. So just before we dig in, I am going to give you a size comparison so you have an idea of how this relates to the really, really popular Konkin, the classic. So this is the classic and this is the mini. Just to give you an idea, this is definitely like a book bag. You can put a binder in here, that kind of thing. This one, this is more either for like a small child or as a purse. So that's just gonna give you some um, perspective on what we're talking about today. We have a full review of this one, which I will link to in the description, so make sure to check that out. This bag is $70 US, uh, which is definitely not cheap. But if you compare it like to the cost of a nice purse that you're gonna have for a really long time, the price doesn't, doesn't seem so exorbitant in that sense. And in terms of longevity, I think that's one way that you have to look at these bags is that you're paying for something that you're gonna have for a really long time, uh, which is good. It's a lot of really popular brands that we've reviewed. They don't have that longevity. They seem to break very easily. That doesn't seem to be the case with these bags. Uh, they are so well made. One of the design mantras of the founder was that every part of the bag should last for the lifetime of the bag. So there aren't, you know, weak little buckles that are gonna snap or straps that are gonna just rip right off. And that I think is something that not a lot of bags have that in them. And that's kind of like a peace of mind when you are spending so much of your money on one bag. Uh, so we're gonna go into some of the details of the bag and kind of show you what it's gonna fit and then we'll talk about pros and cons. As you saw when I compared it to the classic Konkin, this is really just a shrunk down version. Uh, the design is basically the same, just smaller. In terms of volume, this bag will hold seven liters of stuff. The classic is 16 liters, um, so it's less than half but I was actually very impressed with how much this will fit, but I will show you later what's inside. For now, let's go through some of the features. So on the front, you have the Fjallraven logo. This is reflective, so that's handy if you're walking uh, in the nighttime. It is a bold logo, it's very trendy, so for some people that's a big plus, for some people it's not. Uh, but that is on every one of these bags. This bag comes in a ton of colors, just like the classic, like 50 plus. So there's really something for everyone. Now it has the top straps here. So you can carry this just from the top straps. There's a nice little um, snap to hold them together. And then you can carry it that way or you can carry it as a backpack. I will show you the back straps in a little bit. It has the front pouch, just like the other one. Um, it has the rain flaps on all of the zippers so that you know your stuff is protected from the rain. This bag is also made from the Vinylon F material that the classic Konkin is made out of. And it is unique to the Fjallraven, Fjallraven line. And it is really something that you kind of have to like, you have to feel it, you have to touch it to understand it. It's not canvas the way you typically find in a canvas backpack. It's much, much thinner, much, much lighter, um, but it has like kind of an almost waxed feel to it because it is water resistant and dirt resistant. The material is definitely for me one of my favorite parts of these bags. I didn't have any idea what they were talking about when they were saying it's this like magical vinyl on. I don't know what that is, but as soon as I touched it, I was like, oh, I see, this is different. I've never seen something like this before. And it is extremely durable. It's very sturdy, but it's also very lightweight. And I really like that combo. All right, let's just take a look in this front pocket. It's actually, you know, quite deep. I like that. It's not very, very thin. So you could get, you know, whatever you need in there. I have my very small wallet in there. Um, so like, that's just like a regular size wallet. You could put that in the front there. There's also comes with, there aren't any like organizers. It's just like a very empty pouch, but the back shoulder straps on this um, mini bag are a little bit confusing. And so this is kind of telling you how to adjust them. So that is 
useful if you get one of these bags. Do look in the front pouch for that before you go trying to adjust the straps because they are a little tricky. All right, so we'll move to the side here. So this bag, just like the classic, has two pockets on either side. Now, we will see if it will fit this. Uh, no, so they are definitely smaller pockets than on the classic, so this thin water bottle does not fit. Uh, so you're definitely not gonna get a water bottle in here, but my iPhone um, 10 does fit in there like that. So that is useful if you want somewhere to quickly store your phone. Um, there are no zippers, there's no snaps or magnets or anything here, so it is wide open, so you do need to be careful with that, but those pockets are handy for that kind of like tech stuff or little, little things, not water bottles. All right, let's move around to the back. So, just like with the classic, the straps are set up so that you can really like keep them in place if you decide you only wanna use the top loops uh, so you don't have big long straps hanging down, which is very nice. The design of the straps is the same with the classic. These are very like thin, narrow, they're not padded, um, but people do find that this is actually surprisingly comfortable. I think the design of the bag was really, it was made to be easy on your back. And with this bag itself being quite small, you're not gonna get a lot of very heavy stuff in here. Um, I would not be too nervous about these straps I would definitely give it a shot before you, you know, write it off as uncomfortable because they are known to be very comfortable for the back, even with the lack of padding. Now, the way these straps work, I won't go through the whole thing. You should check it out, but they open up down here. There's a little snap like this. And so then to turn it into a backpack strap, you like have to pull it through this D loop. I'll try to do one here kind of like pull it through, very cumbersome, but you only do this once like this. And then you can pull this like this, and then you can just snap, if you, if you don't have it this far. This can snap onto here, and then these can snap like that. And so then you've got, got like a nice clean down there and you have the full backpack strap. So that is how you do it. You have to you have to unsnap everything and pull it through this D-ring. But once you do, you can use it as a backpack. Let's look inside now. I am definitely impressed with how much fits inside this bag. I just kind of looked around, threw a few things in there. Not a lot actually. So like the classic Konkin, the zippers go quite far down, uh, which is something I really like about it. And then because of the rectangular shape, it opens up kind of like a little suitcase. So I have this like fairly large shirt in here. And then we also have a fairly big book. Um, and there was still more space. You could put like a pencil case in there as well. Uh, so seven liters is definitely very small for a backpack, but you know, a notebook, your jack, your small jacket or a shirt, um, a regular book and your pencils and your wallet and your phone, like it will carry like the small amount of things that you need. Not a full book bag, but a whole lot can fit into there. I was very impressed. So looking on the inside, there aren't any pockets. There aren't any organizers. It's just one big um, rectangular compartment. You have the classic uh, label here, just like on the regular sized one. You have the little Swedish flag. And then back here, there is a seat pad. So this is, I'll take it out and show you. This is a foam pad that slips into this little pocket. And so it's meant to prevent anything that's in the backpack from like poking you in the back but apparently you also can take it out and sit on it um, if you're out and about and want something a little more comfy to sit on. So that is what that is. And you can take it out, uh, but just generally you leave it in there to make the bag a little bit gentler on your back. 
All right, I'm gonna run you through the dimensions of this bag really quick. Like I said, it's seven liters. It is 11.4 inches high, 7.9 inches wide, and 5.1 inches deep. In terms of weight, this bag weighs 220 grams when it's empty, uh, which does give you a sense of just how lightweight the material is. That's very light. Okay, so pros and cons. Pros, I definitely love the design of this bag. It's very classic, but very, very functional. The material is my favorite part about it, I think. Um, I'm just amazed at how lightweight it is, but also feels very durable, water resistant, dirt resistant. This is a bag I think that you can just not worry too much about and you know it's gonna keep your stuff pretty safe and sound. There's zip pockets. I love that it opens up so wide so it's very easy to pack and the straps, you know, you have a few options with those as well, which is really nice. In terms of the cons, um, it would definitely be nice to have pockets that were a little bit bigger so that a water bottle could fit in there. Uh, you could fit a water bottle in the whole thing itself. So there's that, but that will take up a bunch of space. It's kind of up to you whether or not that's important. You also wanna make sure if you are buying this bag on Amazon that you're very careful because there do tend to be a bunch of fakes. It is a bag that is very often faked very convincingly until you actually get it and you see that it's falling apart a whole lot easier than the authentic ones, which tend to be very, very well made. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, when you're looking around, you can check out our links below to jump onto Amazon and take a peek at these. Check out all the colors. There's some even like contrasting color combos. Uh, so really something for everyone when, you, when it comes to the colors for this bag. Here is a look at me wearing the bag. For reference, I am five foot six. All right, that was my honest review. I am definitely really a lot more impressed with these bags than I thought I would be, even for the price point. I'm a big believer in buying something that's gonna last a long time, and these seem like they're the ticket. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think of these bags. Do you think they're worth the price tag? Do you have one yourself and do you like it? Subscribe for a whole lot more bags. We're doing a bunch more from the Fjall Raven line, so you can see those, see some comparisons as well. And have an awesome day and I'll see you in the next video.